Today's video is on how to write a semi-formal letter. Some of you have been asking questions about semi-formal letter writing uh, because on this uh, channel we have uploaded videos discussing how to write a formal letter and how to write an informal letter how to write a letter to the editor but we have not discussed how to write a semi-formal letter this video is in response to the demands by some of you who have asked questions concerning semi-formal letter writing if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below click on the bell icon as well so that when the next video goes live on this channel you will be the first to be notified without much ado let's dive into the lesson right away Let's uh, look at the agenda for this episode. Number one, what is a semi-formal letter? Then we shall be looking at examples of semi-formal letter, features of a semi-formal letter, illustrative question, we shall take a specific task, and then we also are going to have illustrative example of a semi-formal letter so that is the agenda for the episode let's go into it one by one what is a semi-formal letter a semi-formal letter is a letter you write to someone you know by name or with whom you have a social business or professional relationship but do not share a personal or close relationship with now a typical example is your landlord you know you you have a kind you know your landlord the person in whose house you are living and you are paying him rent for your house for the apartment you occupy but you do not necessarily share a friendly relationship with him uh, you don't you do not share a biological relationship with him another example is your teacher or you know your lecturer it could be someone that you respect and you know but you are connected or related with him either in the workplace or in the academic institution or in in a kind of social uh, or the social platform but you do not necessarily share a personal or friendly relationship with that person so this is the kind of person you write a semi-formal letter to now let's look at specific examples of semi-formal letters you know the first one is a letter to your teacher landlord accountant lecturer coach or someone with whom you have a business or social relationship but you do not share a personal or close relationship with just as i earlier explained now the second one is a letter to your former headmaster or principal perhaps asking for assistance you know i i want to emphasize here that if you are writing a letter to the principal of your school and you are discussing an official uh, matter you know that is a formal letter but if you are writing a letter to the principal of your school and you are asking for personal assistance for instance then that is a semi formal letter all right so we have to look at the what differentiates a semi formal letter from a formal letter or an informal letter for instance someone asked me whether a letter to his uncle is a semi-formal letter and i said that a letter to your uncle is essentially an informal letter this is because a letter 
is a, 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 an informal letter is a letter you write to someone with whom you share a personal relationship and of course your uncle is either your father's brother or your mother's brother so you share a kind of biological relationship uh, any letter you write to such a person is essentially an informal letter because you will be addressing him as dear uncle all right so you have a personal relationship with him now when you write a semi-formal letter then it is neither formal nor informal it, it combines the features of both the formal and the informal so is that's the middle ground all right now a letter you write to an adult friend such as a family friend your father's friend or your mother's friend that person is a family friend is your father's friend but certainly it's not it's uh, it's not your mate you know it's not your personal friend because there is a there is a gap between uh between you and that person or if you are writing a letter to the parents of your friend you have a friend and for one reason or the other you are, you have to write a letter to your friend's parents that is a semi-formal letter all right so another example is a letter you write to any older person you know where you are not closely related to such as an author or a clergyman you're all right somebody you respect and therefore uh, politeness is required now like the case of uh, the example of the principal or headmaster I earlier mentioned. If you are currently a student and you have to write a letter to your principal, if that letter is for an official purpose, it is an official. It's a it's an it's a formal letter. Of course, you know, an, a formal letter is called an official letter. Now, but if you are writing a letter to your principal probably inviting him to the funeral of your of your late father for example you know that is a semi-formal letter because it, it is it is a it is a non-formal situation you know it's not formal in the sense that you are not discussing anything that has to do with the school you are asking for personal assistance or favor from the principal and so it is a semi-formal letter all right so i hope you have been able to uh, you know have a firm grasp of the difference between the semi-formal letter and the formal letter on one hand and the semi-formal letter and the informal letter on the other hand this is really very important and take note of the fact that if you are a student and you are going to sit any external exam or even internal exam uh, of course the examiner will only set the question and tell you who to write to the examiner is going, not going to specify whether this is a formal letter or informal letter or semi-formal letter you you identify a semi-formal letter by examining the kind of relationship you share with the addressee the person the recipient the person you are writing to if you are asked to write a letter to your father of course the word father has defined the relationship you share a personal relationship with your father so it is an informal letter if you are asked to write a letter to the commissioner uh, of works in your state that has defined a kind of relationship is not uh, someone who shares a personal relationship with you so and it is an official letter so that makes it a formal letter if you are asked to write a letter to your principal and you are discussing official matters of the school it is a formal letter all right so these are the uh, the the clues that will enable you to identify a semi-formal letter and differentiate it from the other two types of letters 
Now let's look at this illustrative question. You are experiencing financial problems and want to ask your landlord if you can pay your rent late. Write a letter to your landlord. In your letter, explain why you are writing to him, why you cannot pay the rent, when you will pay the rent. This is a typical uh, IELTS uh, question, uh, you know, writing task. And of course, it's, it captures a normal life situation. You know, if you are if you are rent, you are living in a rented apartment. Then you have a landlord, and if you have some financial problems, there will be need for you to write to your landlord and request for extension of time. Uh, you know, uh, to enable you to sort your financial problems. Uh, get your act together and be able to pay the rent without having any problem with him. So letter writing is really a very important thing. I want you uh, to look at this illustrative question and from this you will see that learning how to write a letter goes beyond the school or the university or the college. All right or academic institution it, it it is it has to do with life generally you know it, it is important for your personal life it is important for your family life it is important for your social life it is important for your career if you are working somewhere and you are given a query you have to write a letter that becomes compulsory if you want to actually uh, retain your job. If you are looking for a job, you have to write an application. All right. So letter writing is really very, very important. And I want you to understand that uh, even though the traditional letter writing is being replaced by the email, you should also know that the letter and the email are just similar you know if you understand how to write a letter then you just uh, you, you, you just take this uh, from the traditional sheet of paper to your email uh, uh, compose uh, a sec segment and and you begin to write so but the important thing is for you to know how to express your ideas with clarity when writing a letter or an email or whatever you are expected to write. The bottom line is that you have to communicate your ideas in order to get your request across, to make your complaint known, to write an application, to make a proposal. You know, there are a thousand and one reasons why one may have to write a letter. All right. Now, let's now get into the format. The example, you know, illustrative example for a semi formal letter. Now you can see that this is exactly every letter begins with your address, and you can see this uh, very clearly here 10 Quara Street, Sabo, Lagos State. Uh, you have to take note of the punctuation marks. There's a comma after 10 Quara Street. There's a comma after Sabo. And then the state end seat. This is because you are writing to someone who is within the same the state. You are writing to your landlord. And so you live in the same state. So the state marks the end of that address. And that's why you put a full stop here. All right. Then the next is the uh the dates of course uh, is possible that we have actually omitted something i would have explained to you that will and that is uh, the features uh of all right all right so but let's treat it uh together here Okay, so we shall be looking at the features alongside the sample. 
Of course, a quick rundown of the features of a semi-formal letter. You have the writer's address, that's number one, followed by the date, which you can see here. All right. Uh, let's get back to it. Then the next will be the salutation. Then the, 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 after the salutation, you have the content of the letter, which is subdivided into three the introduction, the body, and the conclusion, all right? And then you have the subscription, the signature, and the writer's name. All right, so let's look at this. The first thing you do here, let me, this kind of letter, we can capture the actual components with, you know, what I call, or an acronym that I call, um uh you know pep for instance you know that is purpose explanation and proposal all right then you can see you start by explaining why you are writing the letter that should be in the first paragraph the purpose of the writing why are you writing this letter whenever you are writing a letter and you have to take note that a semi-formal letter does not require, you know, uh, inquiries about the health of the person or about or extending greetings to members of the family. No, this is a semi-formal letter, so it, it it has to have some features of the formal letter. And one major feature of the formal letter that the semi-formal letter has is its business-like nature. You go straight into the purpose of writing without making inquiries. How are you? How are members of the family? These are unnecessary. You go straight to uh, state the purpose of your writing. I am writing to request that then you state the purpose, all right? So the first paragraph will be devoted to the purpose of the writing. And then the body of the, of the letter will then discuss, will give the explanation. In this case, you are asking the landlord to give you more time to pay the rent. So you have to give explanation. Why should he give you more time what is the reason what are the reasons and then you state them here recently i had to take my sick father to the island medical center for a surgical operation and so on and so forth you know you give all the explanation then the next will be the proposal or the action you know because no matter the explanation you give the landlord wants to know when exactly you intend to make the payment because certainly you are not asking him to overlook the rent forever. So you are only asking for extension of time. So I promise to pay the rent rent on, you know, you state the time when you are going to pay. It. And then you have a polite ending, a polite ending, which is very, very important. You know, now I hope this will be acceptable to you, you know, so this kind of polite ending is really very important because you are really making a request and you are not issuing a, a command or an order. Now, the subscription for a semi-formal letter is usually yours sincerely, yours sincerely. Now, if you are writing a formal letter, the ideal subscription is yours faithfully. But for a semi-formal letter, the ideal subscription is yours sincerely. Now, you have to take note that yours starts with a capital letter Y, while sincerely starts with a small letter S. Then, of course, you append your signature here. Of course, uh, some people have argued that this is optional. You may omit it uh, since it's really, it doesn't have a, a, a serious uh, official implication. 
this is semi-formal so you you can as well append your signature or you may leave it some people leave the signature some people append their signature depending on the degree of formality or otherwise so once you decide to append your signature here the next thing will be your name and you have to write your full name because this is an aspect of the formal letter that the semi-formal letter has in an informal letter you simply write your first name and put a full stop for a semi a semi-formal letter you write your full name beginning with your surname preferably all right so that is the way it is now let's uh, take a look at a full a full sample of the of the letter you so you can see here all right you can see a full sample of the letter here okay 10 Quara Street Sabo Lagos State January 20 2021 20, dear Mr Balogun you know you are uh, whenever you are addressing uh, someone in a semi formal letter then you have to address the person with a title either Mr or Mrs or Miss or chief or doctor or professor whatever may be the title applicable you put it before writing the person's surname you know if if the person is a doctor you can write their doctor balogun if it's a chief you write their chief balogun if it's a mister you write their mister balogun and then this is followed by a comma and then you have an indentation here you leave a space to indicate your first paragraph of course you may simply leave a space to start a paragraph if you are beginning from the margin here now i want you to understand that what we have here is really <clears throat> this is the margin you know this is really not what we have here is uh, just a line created by this structure but you can see that this there begins on the margin you know the same margin with other other words you know in the letter some people might leave a space and write there here which is incorrect it, it doesn't show proper organization the, subs, the salutation should begin from the left margin all right so once you have left a space here you can begin the first paragraph with the purpose. Don't forget the acronym of PEP, Purpose, Explanation, and Proposal. All right, then the other will be a polite ending. Now, you can then come here and say, I am writing to request for permission. Okay, I am, uh, something was, uh, there was a mix up here. I am writing to request your permission for me to pay the rent for my apartment a month later. You know, you have an appointed date when you usually pay the rent, but you are asking, uh, you know, for permission to pay a month later. You are asking for an additional month to enable you uh, solve certain immediate financial problems. Now, paragraph two will offer explanation. And then you can say, recently, I had to take my sick father to the Island Medical Center for a surgical operation that cost me 250000 Of course, this is, a, this is a, a typographical. It, it cannot be 250 naira that we make you to uh, ask for extension in this way so is thousand here that was omitted please forgive my writing here let me wipe it and write something better all right 
250 of course let's write it well here all right so just for you to understand the omission there all right so it, it was just an omission okay so recently let's take it again recently i had to take my sick father to the island medical center for a surgical operation that cost me 250,000 Naira. This was an unforeseen occurrence and I had to foot the bill in order to save my father's life. Consequently, I am having a few fi financial problems at the moment. You have given explanation, you know, for, you know, uh, asking for more time to make the payment. Then, in the next paragraph, you simply say, I promise to pay the rent on or before the end of next month. That means you were supposed to make the payment by the end of this uh, current month. But you are asking that this should be deferred to the end of the following month, which is reasonable enough. And then a polite ending here, I hope this will be acceptable to you but please let me know if it is unacceptable. Now, this is polite enough, all right? And once you are through with this, of course, you don't have to write voluminous, you know, uh, write a lengthy thing. You just make sure you have explained uh, what you need to explain. And once you have done that, that is all that is required. Well, I must add here that if you are writing for an exam, uh, you might be asked to write it in a number of words. And this is where you will have to, you know, add, invent some other uh, expressions that are logically related to what you are discussing here to ensure that the required number of words are met. But in real life, you you don't need to over labor the whole thing once you have stated your case and made your explanation with clarity then that is quite satisfactory then the next will be the subscription you can see yours sincerely you put a comma here then you can sign your signature here and then you come up with your name well, let's uh, try to see if, you know, we can sign our signature. Of course, there are two things we can do here. All right, there are two things we can do here. So here we can sign our signature. Okay, this is our signature. And that's okay. Yours sincerely, we sign our signature here. Alternatively, we may decide to omit the signature. And if we decide to omit the signature, then of course, what we have here is simply, then of course, we don't need any space. Of, all right. We, we don't need any space here and then this is what we are going to have all right so you this is exactly how to write a semi-formal letter we have looked at the uh, a specific example of how this is done so let's now This is where we really draw the curtain uh, in today's video. We have been looking at how to write a semi-formal letter and we have 
beamed a spotlight on an illustrative example of a semi-formal letter. We have looked at how to write a semi-formal letter in uh, a hypothetical situation, all right? So, which is, you know, true to life. And then we have been able to look at what a semi-formal letter is. We have looked at examples of semi-formal letter. We, of course, we have discussed features of a semi-formal letter. We looked at the features in conjunction with the format. And then we have we took an illustrative question, a typical IELTS task, writing task, and then we also looked at an illustrative example of a semi-formal letter. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have learned a lot from today's video, uh, kindly like the video and share it with your friends and relations. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Remember to click on the bell icon as well so that whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel, you will receive instant notification. Thank you for being part of today's episode. Feel free to drop your uh, suggestions. Uh, if you have any any topic you want to suggest, like I said at the beginning, uh, this video is uh, in response to a specific request by one of our subscribers, one of our viewers. And you need to understand that we value our viewers. All of you there who have subscribed to our channel, you are highly esteemed on this channel and we appreciate all of you. And I want to say a very big thank you to all of you for supporting this channel. And I promise that whenever you make a suggestion, I will act on it uh, with dispatch. And this is exactly what I have done in uploading this video. Someone requested, asked a question about semi-letter writing and actually, I have responded quite promptly and I'm happy I've done so. In future, I will do whenever any of you uh, comes up with any topic because you are highly esteemed. Without you, then of course our efforts uh, have no meaning. So once again, I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you for supporting the channel. See you uh, in the next video. And uh, bye-bye for now.